Okay, so I'm going to tell you about a game called Tomoku. It's based on my thesis topic on tatami tilings. And the basic principle of tatami tilings is that you can't have four tiles placed at one point. That is, you can't have four tiles that meet at any point. Okay, so in the game, uh, the first thing that you, that you might want to look at is this help button. So you click on that, it brings you to this screen. This screen simply explains what a tatami tiling is. So there's one on the left. And uh, tatami tilings, uh, the, the mats are traditional Japanese mats. And in some applications, they did not want four mats to meet at one point. So you don't want any plus configurations, which are circled uh, here in the help page by this bad sign. Okay, and here I've shown a good intersection or ex an example of a good intersection. But basically, anything that doesn't create a plus between uh, four between four tiles meeting at one point uh, is a good configuration. Okay, so this game is about um, about taking the tomographic row and column projections. I know that's a big word, but that's where the name uh, part of the name comes from. And so this green area here shows you which tiles are completely contained in the first row. And then you can see uh, the last column there, just as an example, there's a green area below it. That's, those are the tiles completely contained in that column. And the object of the game is to uh, move those tiles back into the grid so you can complete a tatami tiling. Okay, and the, the grid won't allow you to make any other type of tiling. Uh, it'll simply reject uh, tiles when you try to drop them in the wrong place. Okay, so the, the grid will look like, uh, the game will look like the top left uh, of the screen here. And then on the bottom right, I'm showing you the game mechanic. And you simply want to click on a mat, and then you can move the mouse over. You don't drag the mouse. You simply click and move. It's actually, um, when you get used to it, it's a better, better game mechanic. Okay, so leaving the help page, there's this custom size game, and so you can pick a grid size and give it a shot. There's this little timer that tells you how long you've been playing for. And I once again, I pick a tile up by clicking on it and then moving the mouse back and forth, and it will stay in the row that it started in. These one-by-one one tiles, which I call monomers, need to match up. Uh, you need to match row tiles with column tiles, simply because each one by one tile is contained both in a column and a row. Okay, so when I drop a one by one tile, it kind of sucks um, a one by a one by one tile from from the column. Here, I've put a two by two by one tile in as well. Okay, so here's a good way to start a tiling: is I've I've identified a column where I know that it's it contains uh, nothing but tiles from from that column, it doesn't have anything kind of interfering from a row. But I did something wrong here, and I've I've messed up this tiling. So I'm going to have to undo a few things. I can do that by double clicking on tiles or single clicking on one by one tiles. And then I I've changed the configuration, and here I've completed the tatami tile. So I click that, and and the level's over. So I won. Okay, but here's the arcade mode. Um, in case you didn't see, I clicked on the arcade mode button. And now I have a countdown timer. So I have a limited amount of time for each level. So it'll start with the 3x3s three and then the 3x4s three and so on. Okay, and there's my score, my time. So now I'll go to the next level. I'll give me a slightly larger tiling. This uh, happens to be a particularly easy one. I fast forwarded that in case you didn't notice. And then once again, there's another level, which I won't play now. So we come to the high scores. Uh, it, when I play the arcade mode, it forces me to put my name in before, I, before it lets me do anything else. I can click on the high scores, and it brings me to this screen. And as you can see, I do not have the highest score in my own game, and I've never been able to get to, get to, get to that level, uh, to my own personal. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks.